In your experience in qualitative organic analysis, you're going to run up against the test that we call the Tollens test. The Tollens test was discovered by a fellow named Bernhard Tollens many, many years ago, and it is used to detect aldehydes because aldehydes are the most easily uh, oxidized of all the functional groups that we actually come in contact with. And I'm going to demonstrate that today. Here we have uh, a solution of glucose in water. Now, glucose is uh, a solid material which has two advantages in this test. First is that uh, it is a very water-soluble material. Okay? And the second thing is that when glucose dissolves in water, it actually provides us with a small amount of aldehyde. So this aldehyde functional group is what we're going to see reacting in this test. So let's put this over here for the time being. To make up the Tollens reagent is actually very simple. Here I have a, uh, a test tube, and the success of this hinges upon the fact that these test tubes are clean. You can't use a dirty test tube for this. I'm going to put in some silver nitrate. Here, that's some silver nitrate. Silver nitrate is a colorless solution. You can see that there. And we're going to put in a couple drops of sodium hydroxide. Now, for all of you who have taken uh, qualitative analysis in general chemistry, you'll know that what happens then when we add sodium hydroxide to silver nitrate is we form silver oxide, Ag2O. And uh, given enough time, all of this kind of milky uh, appearance material will, in fact, coagulate and form silver oxide, which is a solid. But we're not going to wait for that because we're going to take this now and we're going to dissolve it once again, not back to silver nitrate, but to form the silver diamine complex, Ag NH, uh, and NH32 plus, and we're going to add that like that. Okay. I'm going to put in a couple drops of uh, ammonia, and you can see that the milkiness from due to the uh, silver oxide has been discharged, and we're now back at the clear solution. Now, you can't see this from where you are, but this is a very, very light brownish colored solution. All right, so we will dilute that down a little bit, put in some distilled water here. Okay. And now we're going to take the solution that I made of uh, glucose in water, and we're going to add the two together. Mix that up, okay. and then we're going to heat it. Now the heating is the trick. You could leave this to its own devices, and it would eventually form what we describe as a silver mirror. But uh, we're going to heat it up, and we're, we should be able to get the silver mirror to form. Now it's starting to turn brownish. As you can see, okay, we'll let that go for a while. Now what you'll notice is the formation of a very nice silver mirror coating on the inside of that test tube. You see that? This uh, is also called, besides the Tollens test, the silver mirror test. You can see that the silver mirror is forming. In fact, this has been used commercially to form mirrors on, uh, on very uh, large sheets of glass, hence the making the mirror, okay. giving this, uh, okay. you can see that. This is called the silver mirror test. And it's due to the fact that you have a very easily reducible silver ion in that complex form with ammonia, and you have a very easily oxidizable functional group namely the aldehyde supplied by the glucose. So easily reducible, easily oxidizable. What you get then is the interaction of the two, and you get the reduction of the silver plus one ion, and this, in fact, uh, gives rise to the silver mirror, hence the silver mirror test or the Tollens test.